r slash ask reddit what scientific fact freaks you right the duck out just how incredibly large and empty the universe is galaxies collide all the time but the chance of any two objects from either galaxy coalliding are practically zero edit wow my first 10k karma comment space is awesome the milky way has cannibalized at least two galaxies already and andromeda is next this time we are not going to be the galaxy doing the cannibalizing and Romita is a big girl that there are chimpanzees that hunt with spears and live in caves and ones who have fought wars against each other and made fashion trends it's like we get to watch our own evolution edit holy hell i didn't expect this much attention on a comment about chimps also if it hasn't been mentioned there are also chimp serial killers edit 2 here is a thing about termite sticks that everything else keeps trying to lead me to while I'm trying to find a damn video about chimp spearing bush babies in Senegal. Edit 3. Found some video without a paywall on the spear. Anyone have more information on this? Sounds rly interesting. https colon slash slash en m wikipedia or geeky gomb chimpanzee war. Sharks existed before trees or that you can hear the difference between hot and cold water. Dude the difference between hot and cold water is my favorite. Huh. Every ducked up creature on earth. From octopi to tardigrade to spiders. All of them are genetically related to us in some way or another. Imagine the duckery that exists out in space that has no genetic relation to us at all. Imagine the duckery that exists out in space that has no genetic relation to us at all. They could still be beautiful inside, you know. We're all the same on the inside. Stinky and pink. I have to admit, I find that whole Yellowstone super volcano situation a bit unsettling. Could we like, excavate it to relieve the problem or are we just ducked? We can do something about it, actually, and NASA is on the case. HTTP, colon slash slash www bbc com future story slash 20 million 170 thousand 817 nasa's ambitious plan to save earth from a super volcano they believe the most viable solution could be to drill up to 10 kilometers down into the super volcano and pump down water at high pressure the circulating water would return at a temperature of around 350 c 662 f thus slowly day by day extracting heat from the volcano and while such a project would come at an estimated cost of around $3.46 bn, 2 pounds, 69 bn, it comes with an enticing catch which could convince politicians to make the investment. Edit, if you read the article, yes, they're talking about the possibility of also using it as geothermal energy. Edit, a few more hundred upvotes and this will beat my highest rated post which is simply, this is a fact. 3. 46 billion is nothing in comparison to the damages an exploding super volcano would do. Black holes. Concentrations of mass so dense as to be incompatible with the rest of the material universe. Are pretty mind bending. And universe bending. The ducking things bend time. Edit. For all the people saying how everything bends time a bit. Yeah, but this isn't some microscopic angle when you put a little weight on a long bar. This is folding it and ducking half. There exists on this planet a predator so perfect that it has not had to evolve in any major way for over 150 million years. It has existed in its current basic design for longer than there has been a human species. They don't even need to hunt. Just wait for prey to stupidly blunder into their path then injects a venom that literally liquefies the internal organs. Duck you spiders. Also look up sharks, crocodiles, and some archaea. Basically a bunch of really old primordial cells that still live in conditions similar to what proto-earth was like. Yep, we're a fascinating phenomenon in evolution. Also makes an interesting case for the capacity for tool use and how powerful an evolutionary advantage that is. Sharks and spiders haven't changed much in hundreds of millions of years. And here's humanity, able to cheat evolution by just building something to do it. Our engineering can compress hundreds of thousands of years worth of evolution into a few afternoons worth of work. Nature's scary, but mankind cheats. We're the evolution that doesn't need evolution. Squid brains are shaped like donuts and the digestive tract goes through it so if they eat too large stuff they get little brain damage. Brains are weird, 
The fact that they can be irregularly shaped but still form as one coherent unite despite large amounts of space existing between different parts of it, is weird. Methodicking primes. Hunker down in Madagascar, close ports and airports, wait it out until China works on a cure. If it's plague inc, just evolve all animal cross contamination, maybe Madagascar will be spontaneously contaminated. There's a mind controlling zombie fungus found in tropical ecosystems. Also in ants, so unless you're an ant you're fine. I'm an ant, am I screwed? Time is not a constant. Eli 5? Gravity changes time. The greater the gravity, the slower time flows. Stomach enzymes digest you when you die. As someone who suffers from acid reflux, it's not waiting until I die. There is an object that we cannot see but is so massive that the earth and every other object in the universe we know about is being pulled towards it due to its immense gravitational force. It's called the Great Attractor. Astronomer here. Nothing weird about it. I'll bet good money that it's just an even bigger bunch of galaxies than our Virgo supercluster. Which our galaxy is currently moving towards. No way to tell though as the Great Attractor is outside the observable universe. Edit. I am sorry. I misspoke earlier. It's not outside the observable universe but rather behind other stuff so we have no way of seeing it. IT's Duck Ein Galactus. Isn't IT? The Cascadia subduction zone is pretty overdue for a massive earthquake, if when the big one finally comes, the whole west coast of the United States will basically be torn to shreds with magnitude 8 plus earthquakes in areas that are ridiculously ill prepared for earthquake related emergencies. Edit. Apparently I need to point out, I know what overdue means for earthquakes. I never said this is going to happen soon. Everybody panic. I just find this scenario a lot scarier than most other potential natural disasters I've read about. The question wasn't what natural disaster do you think is most likely to actually happen. Um, this is what I came here for. It's not exactly the entire west coast if I recall correctly, although it's the majority of it. Part of Canada, Washington, Oregon, and a part of Northern California. 9. Zero plus magnitude earthquake hits destroys a bunch of shit, and then the resulting tsunami hits 10-15 minutes after the earthquake since the coast is right there. Worst case scenario would be this happens at night. Earthquake drops power for cities states, resulting in an exciting run for your life from a tsunami in what would most likely be pitch black conditions before being swallowed up by a big black wave. Exciting stuff. For most people living on the west coast, the coast is not right there. The PNW city is actually on the Pacific Ocean of places like Eureka, Astoria, and Aberdeen. The T-Rex lived closer to the moon landing than it did to the Stegosaurus. So now there's dinosaurs on the moon? No wonder we haven't been back there. Sounds dangerous. Plants have sexual organs. Whenever you touch its pollen, you're touching the precursor of the plant's sperm cell. Like spermatogonia if you know a bit of biology, the fruit you eat are the ovaries of the plant that they came from. Edit. Specifically flowers. The flowers themselves contain both the male and female organs. So whenever my allergies go nuts, it's because a plant has raped my nose. Beautiful. Just say no. Take a claritin. Look up the timeline of the far future on Wikipedia. Seems kind of depressing that in trillions of trillions of years everything in the universe is gonna die decay until only black holes are left. Which will also very slowly decay until there's literally nothing left in the entire universe. Well, black holes aren't nothing. It's actually a whole lot of something. Like the universe ending and all existing matter giving each other a big tight hug. R slash wholesome apocalypse. Brain aneurysms. Like, you can be proactive about a lot of medical conditions that could kill you, but you can also just drop dead at random from a brain glitch. Hopefully the brain aware enough to send one last thought to you even if it is oop shit really ducked that one. Sorry, this is on me. It doesn't always kill you. My mother went through a day of basically being insensate before we got her to the hospital in time to have surgery. I think it leaked rather than burst. The lifelong short term memory issues were a bummer though, and she's probably well on her way to getting Alzheimer's. Her twin brother however, had a brain stem hemorrhage and basically went from zero to vegetable in an afternoon. 
I'm still kind of convinced that I may be ducked, though my doctor tells me it's fairly unlikely. Equals. An oldie but a goodie. Since humans have the elementary canal running between the mouth and the anus, humans are essentially donuts. In utero, the embryo begins as a ball of cells. The outer layer of the ball starts to pinch inwards, eventually forming the alimentary canal. The first opening of this tunnel eventually forms the anus, which means, at some point in our life cycle, human beings are nothing but disembodied a-holes, which kind of explains the entire human race to me. Every banana that we eat, the Cavendish, are genetically identical. A fungus that can kill one, can wipe out the entire species. That has happened before and there is a fungus out there that might cause it to happen again. It's also scary how recently the last strain went extinct. If I recall correctly, artificial banana flavoring is what bananas used to taste like. In rare instances, dead women can give birth. HTTP colon slash slash www encyclopedia com science encyclopedias almanacs transcripts and maps coffin birth slightly less crazy sounding but pregnant women in comas can also give birth largely because the uterus can expel a fetus in a lot of cases without any active participation in the pushing process it's the strongest muscle in the human body of either sex reverse stillborn that I'm sleeping on top of millions of dust mice and their carcasses. Nice. Right after I just took my pants off, tucked myself in, and got all cozy. I'm not smart enough for this thread. No shame in asking for a life 5, my good person. The idea of the heat death of the universe and the infinite nothing which will follow. To think that no matter how long the universe will have existed it will never compare to how long is will not exist. Welp. Let's just sit back and enjoy the ride you know? On average, your friends have more friends than you. My friends can't have more friends than me if I don't have friends in the first place. Checkmate. The boots void. Why the duck is there this million light year space of practically nothingness just doing out there in space? And if the proposed Iridina super void turns out to be a thing, it would dwarf the bobbits void. Dwarf. Astronomer here. No matter how good we get in sky surveys to detect asteroids, there is no way to detect one that comes from the direction of the sun that is about to hit Earth. The best example of this is the 2013 Russian meteorite. Frankly right now if we discovered an asteroid set to hit in the next year we really couldn't do much about it. Despite what science fiction says. And no, you can't cover it up in the modern world the way astronomical discoveries are reported. The fact that all stars will eventually die out and new ones will no longer be born. The universe and everything in it will be cold, dark, and dead. Earth will be a frozen ball of rock with dead, empty cities full of huge, useless buildings, empty parks, statues and art that will never be observed or appreciated again, and everything that's ever happened. From genocide and holocausts to technological breakthroughs and making the world a better place will no longer matter. The sun is going to expand to a red giant and engulf the earth billions of years before stars stop being born in the universe. So earth is a cold ball will never happen. We're going up in flames. This astronomer here on reddit, u slash andromeda321 said some days ago that the sun will have lost a lot of mass which will put the earth's orbit farther out from the sun which will make it not be engulfed. There was no such thing as grass during the age of the dinosaurs. The photon double slit experiment. You should look up something related to this called the Aheron of Bohm effect. Essentially it is a double slit experiment with a solenoid in the middle. What makes it interesting is that inside the solenoid there is a magnetic field which would affect the electron and outside there isn't. However, the electron never interacts with the magnetic field but is still changed by it. Every living thing on earth has an expiration date. As well as every non-living thing albeit a much longer one. A black hole loses part of its mass due to Hawking radiation. This process is insanely slow. It will take the black hole 10,000 billion 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 years to lose 0. 0.000001% of its mass. Blows my mind. To clarify, the speed at which a black hole will evaporate due to Hawking radiation is dependent on its mass. The speed is inversely proportional to its mass. 
A very large black hole will only emit enough energy to light a small lamp for a second every million or so years, while an extremely tiny black hole evaporates so quickly that it's basically a nuclear bomb. Interestingly enough, this does mean that in a far, far future, it is theoretically possible to make your own black hole with the ideal mass that it will output just enough energy to cover your needs. You will need to continuously feed the black hole though. This would be the most efficient way of generating energy, as it's a 100% efficient mass to energy conversion. Whenever I go to the west coast, I become acutely aware that an earthquake can reduce my surroundings to colorful, on fire rubble in about 15 seconds. The earth is warming up, whether humans are causing it or not, it's definitely a problem. But my politician said it wasn't. Why should I believe all these scientists? The sad thing is this is exactly how my dad thinks. He'll spout off all the science he wants when it agrees with him. But when I bring up climate change, who's paying for those studies? You have to look at who's funding them. And it's always these liberal groups. Sure, looking at funding is nice. But you really think someone out there has enough money to get 99% of the world's scientists to perpetuate a lie? Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.